Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet this simply hooked bookmark, which you can see here in the photo in front of you as well. I have my sample here. Now this is a fun crochet bookmark to work. It is very textured and features rows of these crisscrossed puff stitches. They work up quickly. I'm going to work it today in three different colors. I am using a lighter weight yarn. This is a number three weight yarn. I'm using the Patton's Grace by Yarn Inspirations, which is a mercerized cotton, as well as a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook. You're gonna, going to need about 40 to 50 yards in total for this uh, bookmark. Uh, you're going to want that in three different colors, but uh, you may, uh, if you'd like to follow along as I'm doing it here, you may use any colors that you would like. The f copy of the free written pattern is on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. So thank you so much for joining me. And uh, of course, don't forget to subscribe and uh, say hello down in the comments. And I can't wait to see your finished bookmarks. To start today, this design is worked in rows. We're going to take our color A. I'm going to start with this lighter blue color and make a slip knot. You're then going to work a foundation chain and you're going to need a foundation chain of 40 chains. There's 20. Thirty, and 40. Now if you would like to change the size of your bookmark, this finished bookmark is approximately uh, two and a half inches. Um, let me just pull up my other one here. Let me see. This bookmark is about eight inches long. So if you would like to change the length of your bookmark, you're going to need a stitch multiple of two stitches and then add an extra two for your foundation chain. Once you have your foundation chain worked, you're going to work into the second chain from your hook and single crochet into each stitch all the way across. When you come to the end of row one, you're going to want to switch to your next color, so your color B. We're going to do that by into our final stitch, insert your hook with your color A, yarn over and draw up a loop. You can then drop your color B, A, and pick up your color B place it on your hook and simply pull through. We're going to weave in that little tail later on. You're then going to chain one for row two and turn your work. For row two, begin by working a single crochet into that first stitch and chain one. We're now going to work our first puff stitch. To work a puff stitch, going to yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop. You're going to repeat that three more times. Yarn over, insert your hook into the same stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop. Repeat into the same stitch once more and twice more. Once you have all the loops on your hook, so there should be a total of, let me see, six, seven, eight, nine loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over and pull through all nine loops and then chain one. Next, skip the next stitch and work a puff stitch in the next stitch. So once again, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over and drop a loop. Do that for a total of four times. Yarn over, pull through all the loops on your hook. That's your puff stitch, 
chain one. You're going to repeat that all the way across, skip the next stitch, puff stitch in the next, all the way across to your final stitch where you will work a single crochet and you're going to switch to your color C. At the end of row two, I have one stitch remaining. I've chained one. I'm going to finish off my row two by inserting my hook, yarn over, drop a loop into that final stitch. Then picking up your color C, which I'm going to use this white, place it on your hook and pull through. You can then tighten it a little bit and go ahead and weave in that end a little later on. Chain one and turn your work. You'll notice uh, for this pattern I am leaving my non-working colors attached because I am going to pick them up on my way back. So just leave uh, your color B and A attached. You're then going to for row three single crochet into this first stitch and chain one. You're then going to skip the next puff stitch and working into the skipped single crochet two rows below work a puff stitch. So I'm going to yarn over and work over top of this next chain one space and into that single crochet two rows below work a puff stitch. These are spiked puff stitches because they're worked two rows below. Then chain one, skip the next puff stitch and once again into that skipped single crochet work a puff stitch in the stitch two rows below. Chain one, skip the next puff and you're going to repeat that all the way across. At the end of row three, you've chained one. You're going to skip that final puff stitch, single crochet into your final single crochet, this time switching back to your color A, which should just be down a little bit. You're going to carefully draw it up the side of your blank, uh, of your uh, bookmark. You're then going to chain one and turn your work. For row four, we're going to single crochet into that first stitch and chain one. We're now going to work our puff stitches, this time starting in uh, and working into the chain one spaces. So I have a first my first chain one space right here between the single crochet and the puff stitch and I'm working into the chain one space two rows below, so under my color B. If I pull it apart there you can kind of see. Yarn over, insert your hook into that chain one space two rows below and work a puff stitch. Chain one, skip the next puff stitch and again working into the space two rows below work another puff stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way across. Chain one, skip the next puff, into the next chain one space, two rows below, work a puff stitch. All the way across where you will work a uh, puff in your final chain one space, right before that single crochet and then single crochet into that final stitch switching to your color B. At the end of row four here, I've worked my final puff stitch into this final chain one space, chain one, and then single crochet into the final stitch, switching back to your color B. 
chain one in your color B and turn your work. Now for row five, we're going to single crochet into this first stitch, chain one, skip the first puff stitch, and into the next, chain one space two rows below. So we're working under our color C. You're going to work a puff stitch. Repeat that across, chain one, skip the next puff, into the next chain one space, two rows below, work a puff stitch. Repeat all the way across where you will end with by skipping the final puff stitch and single crocheting into that final single crochet, switching to your color C. At the end of row uh, five, we're going to single crochet into our final stitch and switch over to our color C. Now at this time, you may fasten off that color B and uh, then go ahead and weave it in later on. Using our color C, chain one and turn. For row six, single crochet into that first stitch, chain one. Now working into our first chain one space, two rows below, work one puff stitch. Chain one, Skip the next puff stitch and working into the chain one space, two rows below, work a puff stitch. Repeat that all the way across, ending with a single crochet into your final stitch. In that final single crochet, you'll, you will switch back to your color A and you can fasten off your color C. At the end of your row six, chain one, single crochet into that final stitch, switching to your color A. And at this time, you can go and fasten off or clip off your color C. With your color A, chain one and turn your work. For row seven, we're going to single crochet into the first stitch and then single crochet into the top of our puff stitch. You're then going to work a spiked single crochet stitch or a single crochet stitch, but into the top of the puff stitch two rows below. So reach down, working over top of the chain one space, into the top of that puff stitch down below, work a single crochet. Single crochet into the top of the next puff stitch, and then work a single crochet into the top of the stitch two rows below. You're going to repeat this all the way across, ending with a single crochet into the top of your final stitch. At the end of your row seven, it's uh, up to you. I think in my samples I fastened off and then I joined my color B again. Today I'm actually just going to keep my color A join, chain one, and turn. If you're using your color B, then you'll want to join with a slip stitch into your top corner stitch. We're now going to work some easy edging around our bookmark. You're going to begin by uh, working a single crochet into each stitch across the top of your bookmark. Mm -hmm. 
When you come across to your corner stitch, into your corner stitch, you're going to work three single crochet stitches. This is going to bring you to your short edge. And you may have already woven in those ends. I have not, so I'm going to just work over top of them. And when you come to your short edge, you're going to work six single crochet stitches across to the next corner. You're just going to work them evenly down your edge. If you find that you need more or less, that is fine. But just remember how many you work because you'll want to work the same number across the other side. So there's four, five, and six. When you come to that corner, into your next corner stitch, you're going to work three single crochet stitches. That's going to bring you along to the next long edge. Along this long edge, you're going to work a single crochet into each stitch across. Then as, just as you did before, work three single crochet stitches into your corner, six along that short edge, and then finish off with two single crochets in your final corner stitch and join with a slip stitch in the first stitch. And that's all there is to working your simply hooked crochet bookmark. So thank you so much uh, for joining me on this tutorial. Don't forget to tag me on social media after you finish your bookmark so that I can come and admire it. And I look forward to seeing you again soon for another great pattern. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye. Mm -hmm.